a church, an Armenian church, was attacked, uh, was set on fire. It was arson. I'm not talking about in Artsakh. I'm not talking about in Armenia. I'm talking about in San Francisco. So a dear friend of mine who is not Armenian, but is married to an Armenian, and this person is, is very important in my life, um, sent me, uh, or actually called me on the phone saying the church where I was married was burned down. Well, not burned down, but damaged. There's a school and a library and offices uh, associated or attached to the church that were severely damaged. And it just, and it wasn't random. It wasn't, well, I mean, it wasn't just an arsonist out to burn down a church. It it was in it was targeted. It was targeted. The Armenian church was targeted, not just a church targeted, but the Armenian church was targeted. In fact, uh, this was in September, about a week before the assault on Artsakh. And I don't know if that's coincidental. When I found that out, it was September 17th. So it was 10 days before the attack on Artsakh. And, and it just struck me as, sure, maybe it's coincidental. Hatred and racism against Armenians here in the United States. But it more likely was I, I mean I, this attack on Artsakh caught me by surprise I mean, I've been researching the Armenian genocide for three years as I, I'll keep saying but when it happened it was like I, I was in shock I was like wait what's going on and, and I honestly didn't really even know much about Artsakh just you know, what I'd seen on Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown, you know, I'd seen it there and I heard about it. I didn't visit, I did, didn't have an opportunity to visit it when I visited Armenia, but I want to. Um, uh, so it caught me by surprise, but I, I'm suspecting there was propaganda coming to a head ahead of time that I mean, the the attack on Artsakh was planned, clearly. It wasn't just random. It didn't just happen. And so how long had it been planned and how how widespread in, I, I guess, the Turkish or the Azeri community or both, they're one and the same, essentially, um, you know, was that call to violence spreading? in the United States so that, you know, th there was, there were attacks. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but it, it did not strike me as coincidental. Um, and here comes a noisy leaf blower about to walk right past my car. So maybe you can hear that. I'll keep talking. Uh, so, uh, so I just read an article about a $50,000 reward that the FBI has offered for information leading to who attacked the church. And there was also a break-in in July, and this is all in San Francisco, uh, of another school. And so the church that was burned was uh, St. Gregory, St. Gregory the Illuminator Church on Commonwealth in San Francisco, I guess, San Francisco proper. And then there's this other Armenian school that there was a break-in and anti-Armenian graffiti and vandalism. So again, it's not just some hoodlums breaking in. It was a targeted attack. So, and I live very close to Glendale and, and I don't think any, I don't, I don't think any Turk or Azeri is going to be foolish enough to go into Glendale and do that kind of stuff there. And so maybe maybe there's more of these kind of attacks around the country or around the world. I don't know, but San Francisco has an Armenian community and 
So for this friend of mine to reach out to me, you know, they're going to send me the act. I mean, they get the San Francisco paper. And so they're going to send me the actual article. Uh, I think they're going to mail it to me. I said, just take pictures of it and email it to me or so, because I wanted to see it. But I, I Googled it and researched it myself and, and found several articles on it. Um, so, oh, uh, share this video, subscribe. Again, the subscriptions are going up. Uh, thank you for all for bearing with me. Uh, I do want to remind you all that Christmas is coming. And I'm going to be reading from Sogo Montalirian's memoir. And I've, t I've got two passages that I'm going to read. Uh, one that is, both of them take place in Berlin. And one of them is a Christmas dinner that he was invited to. And another one is another dinner at the same location that is even more, <laughs> well, it's very, very interesting. It's just crazy. I've said in a video before that this is not fiction. It's not made up. And it's just too, it's as I read it, as I was first reading it, it, it's, it's just like, I can't believe this really happened. It's so dramatic and so cinematic yet. It's just a guy telling the account of what really happened in his life. So it's a gift, my gift to you all, uh, my fans and my detractors it's a gift. I'll be reading from, from an exclusive translation yet to be released. Um, you'll hear it here for the first time. All right. Uh, I'm cutting it off here. Thank you all again. Subscribe, share, comment, like, click the notification bell, all of those things. Thank you.